Hello everybody. Um, I tried to find a quiet place to do this real quick with my kids running around. But um, I figured I'd go ahead and record my hits from now on just in case because I have missed uh, quite a few good hits on the Titan. Like, let's see if I can find mine from earlier. It's in here. There. <clears throat> uh, I had a really good run, really good board, um, the right set of heroes, and put up 41k in one hit. And I've done a max hit of 50, close to 51k, close. But um, that's my top hit so far. That was on a purple. Um, but I have a decent lineup that does pretty good against yellows as well. Um, I'm not really strong against, I'm strongest against purples, I'm not really super strong against, at least I didn't think I was, against yellows or any other particular colors because I have a couple heroes to stack, but I have the right setup for stacking against um, purple titans with um, Guardian Jackal, who is like a big key to me dropping his defenses far enough and putting through that much um, yellow damage. Anyways, enough rambling, let me go ahead and record this and... Let's see, this is going to be my um, yellow titan team, even though it's yellow, I still have to bring Wu, um, or you won't get those scores, basically. Wu is the absolute key to getting these kind of scores. Um, <clears throat> I know that sucks to hear if you're new and you don't have Wu Kong and you've had a lot of other heroes, three star, other yellow four stars chow i know i got chow first and you know i was really gunning for Wu. and all i can say is you will get them i got them um if you keep plugging away you'll definitely get them it's just a matter of time um training camp 13 gives you the chance training camp 20 gives you um probably higher odds but at that point you'll probably already have Wu and be gunning for you know jeans and stuff like that but anyways Enough of my yapping. Let's hit this Titan and let's see what we can do. Show you the way I do it here. Oh, this is. expected that I could kind of tell um, as it was going <clears throat> there you'll know you know when that board opens up and you start just dumping gems and as long as Wu happened to have gone off momentarily before that took place you'll know um, it'll go so crazy you don't even realize what the score is and then when it hits this screen you'll just go what but <laughs> anyways um, I figured I'd put that together, put it up, uh, not a horrible run. Like I said, if you're hitting with a team like that in the 20k and up range with Wukong, um, kind of on a, that wasn't a horrible run, but it, it wasn't one of those runs. I'm going to catch one. 
Um, you'll see a 40 and I'll try to get another 50 on a purple. You'll see one of those too. Um, if you're putting up those scores on a decent run, then you have the potential with the right board to put together uh, at least 40K, I'd say. Um, with a really, really lucky board, um, you can hit the 50. That's how I got the 50. Um, I've done it twice, and of course it was on um, Purple Titans. I'll go ahead and show everybody real quick the reason why I can put through that much damage on a Purple Titan is because of him. Uh, if I hit a Purple Titan with Grim, that drops at 34, and then I can combine the weakness color, which is holy, with that negative 52, and apply woo and start throwing gems through and get a lucky board with a lot of yellow, um, it's, it's a 50k. <laughs> Um, or maybe better. Uh, I've never truly, the 50Ks I had were really good, the boards dropped, but I probably had them stacked wrong, or I don't know if I had um, Bold Tusk in the mix, but it, you can get them up there with that combination, no problem. But that's enough of me rambling. I thought I'd throw another one together and put it on YouTube. I'll edit it, and I'll see you guys later.